Hello, my name is Jay Wilson with Onyx Reporting. In this webcast, I'm going to show you how to use NP array functions with NL filters. To get us started, an array represents a set of values stored in one cell. And what you can do when you have one or several arrays is you can take the union intersect or difference. You can say, oh, I have multiple arrays. I want to combine all of the values in all the arrays. Or you can take the intersect to say, only give me the common values between two arrays. And lastly, the difference allows you to take one array and subtract all the values from another array. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to make a list of customers who had no sales in 2008. Since most ERPs don't record no sale, what we can do is I can say make a list of all customers. And then I can say make a list of customers with sales. And then we can subtract the two. So to get started, um, I'm going to use a technique that we're all familiar with. And I'll say make a list in rows of all customers. When I run this report, I get a pretty extensive list of every single customer. But that's not quite what I want. I don't want all customers. I want an array. So instead of creating an NL rows function, I'll create an NL filter. This time, when I run the report, you won't see any values. You just see C8 with this formula in it. And we understand that this function, it basically contains all of my customers. I'll create another array but this time against the sales invoice header. I'll make a list of all customers in my date range. Theoretically, this will represent all customers who had an invoice in 2008. Now, to list out the difference, I'll start by saying, well, yeah, I do want to list in rows, but for the table argument, I have to use a nested jet function. I'll use an NP difference to say, give me the difference between two arrays. I'll choose array one, all of my customers. And I want to subtract customers with sales. Now, my result function says, make a list in rows of the array that results from the difference of C8 and C9. Now before I run this report, I'm just going to do a little quick proof of concept test. I'll say, well, let's prove that they don't ha didn't have sales. Give me the sum of amount for this customer in the sales invoice header. And this column will represent lifetime sales. I'm going to duplicate this function. I'll duplicate this function, but I will add a filter for posting date. And this time, when I run my report, yes, I do see a lot of zeros. But as I run through, I can see, OK, these customers did, in fact, have lifetime sales, but they had no sales in 2008. So that's our report using NP array functions with NL filter. My name is Jay Wilson. I'm at Onyx Reporting. You can reach me at jae at onyxreporting.com. Thanks so much. Cheers.